my first interview, so. Alright, I'll make it a good one. <laughs> first yeah. one. Thank you. Yeah, I got okay. you. Um, hey, this is Rachel with Melodic Sound Waves, and I'm here with this entry. So, um, in case our viewers don't know who you guys are, and you can start to introduce yourselves and tell, give us this short history of this entry. I am Sean. I play guitar for this entry. I am Joel. And I sing for this entry. And that's his real voice. He's <laughs> not what he sounds like. Uh, brief history of the band. Uh, we formed about three or four years ago in lovely Tempe, Arizona. And uh, I was in a band previously with our drummer Ryan. And then Alex and Joel uh, met each other in high school uh, at a performing arts high school. And uh, Alex is my brother, and we kind of recruited him into the band. And then he introduced us to Joel, and the rest is history, as they say. Yeah, it's a quick brief history of the band. How do you come up with the name of the century? Um, the name of the century came from, uh, we were originally called Evident Earth, which is really hard to say, and it also sounds like Heaven and Earth. And it's also a really good band name. Don't name your band Evident Earth. I almost said heaven in there. Yeah. Um, so our manager at the time was like, you gotta change the name. And we spent like a month coming up with hundreds of different band names. And then one day I was just like, we need to come up with a band name sometime this century. And that's the band name. <laughs> it's, that, it's really not that. It's not as exciting. Not as exciting, exciting. yeah. It's totally fine. Um, okay, so this tour just started, right? Yeah. yeah. So how's it going so far? So far, so great. So far, so good. Especially today. Today's uh, nice weather. <laughs> um, nice weather and uh, nice people that we've met so far. Yeah, great so, people so far. So hopefully a nice show too. And that's three. Three makes it a trifecta. <laughs> Did you know any of the bands working on? Um, we had briefly met the Hey Monday guys a little while back when we were on work tour. And then... Um, I had spoken with We Are The In Crowd before. Um, who else do we know? Cartel, we met, yeah, we, we met Cartel. Cartel on the last evening with the main tour. They um, were super nice we guys. We Georgia, so, 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 so yeah, they were really nice too, so we are kind of like, oh, it's an awesome tour. Yeah. Everybody's so nice, and everybody is really nice. So. Okay, so um, what do you guys do when you have off days on tour? Um, sleep. sleep. Sleep, and then Walmart runs, Whole Foods, Try to go to Whole Foods or a nice place, eating wise on the day offs. Um, this this particular tour, we've been doing a lot of little errands more than we've done in the past. Yeah. So we're trying to catch up on some we're, things. We're a little we're, behind. We're, we're liking, uh, we like to do do-it-yourself kind of stuff. Yeah. So we're creative. We're gonna get crafty on our first day off in a couple days. Yeah. We actually uh, just we we uh, have this EP that's out for just this tour. And it uh, has nine songs on it, and uh, we got these custom stamps for them. So we just stamped all of them ourselves, and we made all the stamps ourselves, and got the pieces ourselves. We're selling them for five dollars on this tour. Pick one up if you're on the tour. <laughs> it's nine songs, for five dollars. It's like we're letting steal, people steal four songs. Yeah. <laughs> well, not technically. Two of those are were free from the sixteen. They get still get to steal two songs. They're still stealing. That's the, that's the key point. So if they if they want to buy it for nine songs, or if they just want to buy it for the Russians, you know, stealing like they're stealing something. <laughs> Both reasons. Either way. Yeah. So, um, you guys mentioned the 16 project, and like I've heard about it. What is it? Um, you want me to talk about it? <laughs> yeah. Chills, chills, yeah. Is it. Um, the 16 project was something that we thought about, where we were in between our EP and our record that's going to be coming out hopefully in the beginning of 2011. And we wanted to find a way to release, we had all this music that we wanted to do, and we wanted to find a creative way to put it out. So what we decided to do is split it up into four EPs, and they were all going to be for free, and we'd release a song every week for 16 weeks, which we came very close to, but didn't quite get to the whole 16 weeks. But um, we uh, had four songs that were B-sides, four songs that were acoustic songs, uh, four songs that were remixes, and then four songs that were covers. So it's just like a ton of different ways of presenting our band, and I thought it was kind of cool that we could do show all the different facets of what we do, and what we, the music we enjoy, and cover yeah, those. Kind songs. of give people an idea of like the kind of songs that we write when we're making an album, just like a day. 
the diversity of what goes into it. Because I mean, a lot of the B sides and stuff are very far from what we would normally do, but I think that's what makes it appealing to just a listener and just for us to be able to put it out there and not have to worry about it being prejudged as like, oh, this is your album. It's like, no, just listen to it as what it is and not try and have any preconceived notions of what you're getting. So, so um, you guys are releasing a new album in 2011. Yes. How has your sound changed since your last album? Um, it's definitely heavier. It's definitely a lot heavier. Um, we still keep some of the balance that we've always had. That's something we wanted to really make sure we kept because it, that's something that makes our band our band. That's a, yeah. But um, definitely heavier, definitely an out tempo record. Um, a lot corkier, more guitar leads than we've ever done. Yeah. More, yeah. more musical uh, expression than we've Like literally musical. It's a full musical. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it, it's gonna be where we can't say. I, I honestly feel like it's better than anything we've made. Um, what are some musical influences and non musical? Musical influences are literally all across the board. We all kind of listen to different stuff. But yeah, a couple of the bands that, that we tie all kind together, of yeah. like are we're really big on the Killers, we're really big on. Killers, The Strokes, Coldplay. Coldplay. We like our radio heads, we like our British bands. Brit, 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 British bands that would do really well in Britain are bands you should really listen to. Or at least give it a listen. Yeah. What else do we listen to? John, 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 John Mayer. We'll be gone. There's so much. So yeah, yeah, I'd so say those are the bigger ones that we can yeah. pull ideas from. I know you guys, like, a lot of your influence here on this stuff was um, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Yeah. Yeah, it was that more funk, that funky like, bass. That was Look What We Made EP. That was a funky EP. And, uh, but I, I think that was important though because like that influence of that stuff combined with the stuff that we listen to and the bass just kind of gave us our, a little bit of our balance that we people came to like about the music. So I think that was kind of a good discovery in, in using those influences to shape the music a little bit. So, okay, so um, what's your favorite venue? Favorite venue? I really loved, we played this show in Philadelphia. On the main tour, I really like. I think it just like when the sound sounds good. The sound sounds good, and when the sound guys. It's surprising the little details that will make a band happy. Um, for bands that don't have their own sound guys, or that, that's a big deal. And um, catering is always nice. Six Flags, Six Flags is, really cool. is always fun for the roller coasters and the food. Yeah, I really like that House of Blues. Where was that? That's first House of Blues. It was the Anaheim, the, the one at Disneyland. Yeah. Six Flags shows are like must be really different than. They're they they're just constrained in certain ways, but they're great for exposure for bands because yeah, so many people can go to them. A lot of rules. A lot of rules. Yeah. Understandably so, it's a bigger place. So. Um, how does it feel to be on stage? Do you guys ever get nervous before playing? Um, I still get nervous before playing. I, I got, I, I definitely got nervous. Like the first Six Flags show that we did on this other tour, that was there were like 2,500 kids there, and uh, yeah, it was, was kind of nerve wracking, like peeking my head out and seeing all those people. Like, yeah, it's it's really crazy. I think the more that we get confident in what we do and, and feeling comfortable in our own skin, I think the easier that becomes. Like, I think what the main tour was so great about it was we were trying out a lot of new songs that we never played before in front of fans, which is the scariest thing in the world because you know they don't know the songs. On top of lots of new fans that don't know any of your songs, so you really have to prove to them why they want to listen to your band. It's not like this bass thing that they know what, what you're about to play. So that's the scariest thing. I think it's the not knowing what the reaction is going to be because like, we'll go home and we'll play a show and they'll know you know, a song, uh, you know, a bunch of our songs and everyone's singing along and everyone's having a great time and that's easy, you know, you can just go up there, it's very natural, but it's that feeling of no one's gonna, you know, what what are people gonna do, what's the anticipation gonna be like, that's the scariest part, it's the not knowing that's scary. Um, so, how do you guys get your name out there? Like, I mean, <laughs> everything. Utilize, utilize the internet. <laughs> everything. Every, yeah, the, the internet was a big one for us when we were first starting out just because it's a free way of getting your music to across the country and even 
across oceans. <laughs> yeah, oceans and everything. I think um, I think internet's been really, really important. I think that the way that you go about utilizing the internet is really important. I think it's not just about having stuff accessible, it's it's the way that they go about it, accessing the music. Since everyone can get everything for free, since everyone can find stuff on their own, it's like you want to find ways to tunnel everyone to go see what you're doing. I think at the end of the day, if, if the music is is good enough and people enjoy it enough, it'll, people will find it. It's just what can you provide for the fans that's going to be different and, unique, and a unique experience. And I think for us, like that's been the big thing with the way that we're viewing the record and the plans we have in terms of how we want to perform live and really work that much harder to be a band that's respected as a band and not just as, uh, you know, as respected as musicians and performers, not just as not just as people. You know, just people. Yeah. Like a good picture. You don't want to just be known for a good, a good picture on top of this. As you can tell, the picture looks a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So one last question before we wrap this up. Absolutely. Um, what do you guys do when you're at home? You sleep a lot. What do you do? I don't know. What do I do? I watch a lot of sports because I don't get to watch a lot of sports. Um, I write a lot. I never write on my phone. It's so hard to write because we don't really have none of us, as you can see. We never have time. And when we do have time, it's too tired. Yeah, and it's hard to write when you're forcing writing. So when we go home, I love to just sit and write for a couple hours and feel that feels better, I think, than a lot of things. So yeah, just kind of hang out with family and try and catch up. And I think that's the big thing. <laughs> we, we get bored when we're home because it's like you go from like just constantly driving every day, waking up early, you know, being on the computer and sound checking or whatever, and then you get home and you're like, nothing. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, so yeah, we just relax. Thank you guys for Thank you. Absolutely.